Hello, Matthew. Good morning. How have you been? I hope you had a good night's sleep and you're ready to begin working on IEP goals 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to work on IEP goal number 1 first and we are going to uh, be talking about uh, action verbs, about uh, present and past verbs. So um, a past tense verb are always verbs that tell you what already happened. So like here, uh, looked, uh, smiled, waved. These are words or verbs that have already happened, which means they are in the past. And present verbs are telling us about what is happening right now. So this is a smile and he's driving and these are all examples or looking as well are examples of things that are happening right now which is called present tense. And here in this chart like we have talked about before, um, most of the words you can make it in past tense verbs just by adding ed to the verb. Like in walk, you can make it a uh, past tense by adding ed, which goes into walked. Same thing with smiled goes to smiled. And play goes to played. And so on. Uh, most of the words you can add ed to the verb and it goes, it makes it a past tense verb. And there's going to be some uh, words that actually change. So for example, like here, give will actually become gave. And C will become saw, run, ran. Those are words that they change just a little bit um, when you are presenting them into past tense verbs. And then there's going to be a few verbs that hit that stay the same. Like for example, hit. Hit in past or present, it's the same thing. It's still hit. Uh, same thing with put and same thing with shut. Those words, they just don't change whether you're talking about the past tense uh, or future, they just don't change. So now for your uh, worksheet number one, it's called Irregular Past Tense Verb Sheets number two. Uh, <clears throat> if you have this uh, worksheet, take it out and if you do not, it is okay. Just write uh, the question and answer in a regular sheet of paper. Um, it's okay if you do not have these. I will still uh, put the picture down below so you can, in Teams, in your page, so you can uh, get the, the worksheet and look at all the questions. So let's go to this worksheet. So Matthew, I will be doing two um questions with you and the rest you will be doing it on your own so for the first one it says today i lose so if we talk about it or write down a sentence talking about the past it will start as yesterday i so what can you say for uh lose in pa press in past tense so lose would became lost so we can write yesterday i lost um, you can put yesterday I lost my dog at the park. Remember that I want you all to write in a complete sentence. So today I lose and in past tense we're going to put yesterday I lost my dog at the park. For the second one it says today... I sing. Yesterday, I, so sing, how would you say it in past tense? Yes, sang. So we can put yesterday, I sang my favorite song. And you can put the name of the song if you want. Like, I know you like the song Senorita. So we can put that. So yesterday I sang my favorite song, Senorita.
And that's what you're going to be doing for the rest of the questions, Matthew. Uh, you will be working on these on your own. If you have any questions or need any help, uh, just let me or Mr. Salinas know. Uh, we are here to help. And now we are going to go over uh, go number two. So for go number two, we're going to be um, responding to short questions that require for us to infer, to make predictions, to guess. Um, so as we know, making inferences is using clues to figure out what the author is not saying. So clues from a book or clues from a text and plus what we already know, what we've already experienced, we make those, we use those two things to make inferences, which means we project, we we say I think or we guess or maybe this happens like that's what we are going to do uh, with this uh, worksheet right here which is goal number two worksheet and it is called learning inferences worksheet so look for this worksheet if you do not have it like I said it is okay just write it in a piece of paper uh, the question and answer so this is the worksheet, it's called Learning Inferences Worksheets, and it says an inference is a conclusion reached on basis of evidence and reasoning. It is an educated guess based on observation and background knowledge. So we are guessing, so we can use the word I think, I predict, maybe, uh, my guess is, those are things we're going to be doing. I will be doing uh, two questions with you and the rest you will be doing on your own so to begin here it says number one michael jordan won multiple nba titles and mvp honors and your inference we can start off as i think michael jordan won these awards in the 1990s because we're not sure but we can predict that he won those things around that time and then uh, for number two it says I get out of school at this time so can we guess around what time they get out of school? So you can base this on your experience. At what time do you get out of school? So we can put my guess is he or she get out of school at we can put three o'clock or we can also put 3 30 because that's around the time school ends for mostly around everybody so now you're going to do three four five six seven and eight on your own if you have any questions uh feel free to let me or mr salinas know Okay, Matthew, so now we're going to be going over goal number three, and we're going to be finding the perimeter and area of some uh, shapes. So, we know that perimeter is everything around, so everything that's outside of the object. That is what is perimeter. An area is the amount of square units inside the object. So perimeter is everything outside and area is everything inside. And here in the sides, it is telling us uh, it's the formula. So area equals length times width. So uh, the length times the width. That is what we, we multiply it and we can find out everything of the inside. And perimeter, it can be length times width 
I mean length plus width plus length plus width, or we can do it two times, like two, uh, whatever your width is, plus two, uh, whatever your length is. Or you can do it like in parentheses if that is easier. You can put two parentheses, your width and your length, and it gives you the answers. Or you can just uh, add all of the four uh, numbers and it will also give you perimeter, whatever is easier for you. So this worksheet, the worksheet for today is uh, this one. It is, it doesn't have a name, but it says find the area and perimeter of each shape. And this is what it looks like. If you have it, get it out. If you don't, it is okay. I will provide it with you and you can just write it in a sheet of paper. Okay, Matthew, so it says find the area and perimeter of each shape. So I will be doing two with you and you will be doing the rest on your own. So we're going to find the area and the perimeter for each one. So to start off, we're going to write down the area. Uh, I mean the formula for each one. So for area, it was length times width. And for perimeter, we could do the uh, easier one, which was length plus length plus width plus width. And that's what we're going to be doing for all of them. So over here, five and five. So your area is length times width. So you would do five times five. And what is your answer? Can you tell me what? Five times five is yes good job five times five is 25 so that is what your area is and now the perimeter says length plus length plus width plus width so to find it easier we can just add all the four sizes so this is always the same thing as this so over here it's five so this will be a five as well and then the same thing, this will always be the same as this over here. So five and this will also be a five. And now we can just add all of these uh, numbers together and we can find out the perimeter. So what is five plus five plus five plus five? Can you tell me what five plus five plus five is, Matthew? Yes, good job. It is 20. And we're going to be doing the same thing over here. So over here, uh, area is length times width. So it's the same thing. 2 times 8. What is 2 times 8, Matthew? Yes, good job. It is 16. And now to find out... The perimeter, we can just add all the spaces. So this will always be the same as over here. So this is 8. And over here in the bottom, it can be, it will be the same thing as over here, which is 2. So now you will add all these four uh, things, numbers. So tell me what is 8 plus 2 plus 8 plus 2. Yes, awesome job, 20. Make sure you have your calculator for this assignment because you will need it. It um, will come in handy. So now you will be working on the next four on your own. Uh, you will be doing the same thing. So always remember that for area, you just do uh, length times width. And then for perimeter, you just add all of these together. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help.